Hey, Shalom, Israel, Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekah, Kwadash. want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Citations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel is pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the 130 Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever it goes. Shalom, brothers. So Shalom, y'all. Wow, man. All praises to Yahweh Shem Hashem, for the spirit to come out on the highways and hedges again tonight, bro. You know, uh, I wanted to say something before we got started. You know, because the spirit, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. You know, we're in this this sinful flesh, and uh, you know, uh, sometimes it ain't easy, bro. And uh, you have to pray, pray to Yahweh Shem You know, the Father of Spirits. And uh, you know, we can do all things. We can do all things through Yahweh Shem who strengthens us. That's you know, I wanted to say that because. You know, sometimes uh, coming out on the highways and hedges and, and doing the work, you know, requires that, that faith. It requires uh, the spirit of Yahweh Shem you know, but not of ourselves. You know, like the scripture speaks about uh, how uh, how the power be of Yahweh Shem not of us. We have this treasure in earthen vessels. Because uh, I was thinking about, you know, thinking about Job. That's what, what, that's what we're going to be talking about in the, tonight, you know, in this live camp. About Job and how... You know, uh, that correlates to the elect. You know, Job is a rep representation of the elect. So we're going to try, you know, through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh Hashem, I shout to the best of my abilities to bring that out, man. Uh, I was thinking about that. All the trials and the tribulations and the sufferings. You know, that's why uh, we're going to put a, a tag with this live camp. It speaks about, he that overcometh and keeping my works until the end, the same shall be saved. Um, so, yeah, I was thinking about coming out tonight, you know. And doing the work, no matter what, bro. Through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh Shemashah, we ask the Lord when we when we feel those moments of, you know, that we need that that help. We need the Spirit of Yahweh Shemashah to do the work. You know, we pray, pray to Yahweh Shemashah for the Spirit, and then guess what? Bam! You know, you get that charge. I ain't kidding, bro. You get that charge of Spirit of the Spirit, and you find yourself just doing it, loading up the car. You know, at first you felt like you was down. Uh, then you get the spirit to load up that car, man, like it ain't nothing. You know, and then you find yourself done packed up and done, done set up the camp like it ain't nothing. You know? Through the spirit, and that's all through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shema Shah, bro. I wanted to make, make, I wanted to make that, I wanted to say that because, uh, you know, uh, when we do the work, come out here in the highways, highways and hedges making ourselves a living sacrifice, it's all the Lord, the spirit of the Lord upon us to do this. Uh, to be separate, to be holy. Uh, first, you know, it's out of fear. You know, wait, wait. First, it's out of the, you know, the Lord's will be done, right? I wanted to say that, right? First, it's His will that come that you know, like the Lord say, you know, Thy will be done. Uh, and whoever resisted the will of the Lord, you know, He said, this, hey, this gospel shall be preached on the four corners of the earth. Then shall the end come. Their prophecy must be fulfilled. You know, the Father Spirit's gonna gonna make it's gonna get done. It's gonna get done, bro. Okay? I have I reserved to me seven thousand men that have not bowed the knee to Baal. You know, Lord willing, we're part of that number. You know, that's not gonna take the hand off the plow, not gonna go back into the world. You know, any man putting their hand to the plow looking back is not fit for the kingdom of heaven. So first first, you know, first it's the spirit of Yahweh Shimasha that gets these get these things done. Everything that's happening in this world. Secondary, it's the fear that you know the Lord Put in our, you know, that gift of faith gives us that fear of Yahweh Hashem. I that healthy fear, you know, to be like, oh, oh I, you know, I got, bro, you know what, we got to do this. Number one, the fear, the reverence of Yahweh Hashem, you know, because we, we, we're looking for a reward. We're looking to avoid that second death. You know what I'm saying, bro? Hey, we're looking to be able to eat in this time. Of Jacob's trouble, my servant shall eat. So we want to serve Yahweh Hashem with all our heart, with with the you know understanding the scriptures, you know, because you did not serve Yahweh Hashem for the, the with the joy of your of your heart, you know. We went, all these curses came upon us. We went and find ourselves in yet this day in our captivity. So now, you know, now being returned to Yahweh Hashem Asha, seeking ten times more. That's why we're gonna put a tag with this with this uh, this live camp. He that endure, he that overcometh, and keeping my works to the end. The same shall be saved. So we got the will of Yahweh Shemashah, the Spirit, His Holy Spirit, making these things happen. The fear of the Lord, and then of course the love of Yahweh Shemashah. 
you know, this is our reasonable service. If you love me, keep my commandments. We understand what it's all about. You know, we're looking for new heavens and new earth with a dwell of righteousness. So we want to do, you know, we want to do the work. We want to do our part. We're thankful for this truth. And we show that by our faith. You know? We show that by our faith. And faith without works is dead. So we're looking for these things. We want them crowns. You know? <sighs> what else? Is there, there's something, I'm sure, I don't want to leave anything out. But it's our reasonable service. And it ultimately, it go always go. It goes right back to you. How about Shemashah? And yes, I got a scripture for this. I got a scripture. Okay. Uh, let me get it. I think, hey, through the Spirit, it's telling me to get this this scripture in uh, in the NIV right here. First uh, Peter, chapter five, verse one, and on down five and one. The point being in two. First Peter. You know, I, I'm serious, bro. With the. Uh, and that is the spirit of Yahweh Shemashah because it just seemed like a, just a moment ago I was just praying to the Lord for the spirit to come out here to do the work. I was like, uh, you know, you know how it is, man. I, and, uh, hey, man, just being open and honest with the brothers and sisters, man. Sometimes you just don't be like that. We in the flesh. Come on now. There it is. First Peter chapter 5 verse 1 it says to the elders among you I appeal as a fellow elder you know a witness of Yahushua's suffering and one who also will share in the glory to be revealed be shepherds of Yahushua's flock that is under your care serving as an overseer not because you must but because you are willing as your how about Shemashah wants you to be that's right hum, uh, you know we, we, we spoke about it the other night humbling ourselves under the mighty hand of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushah you know it says be shepherds of Yahweh by Shemashah's flock that is under your care good night y'all it says, Overseer, over, so like it's serving as overseers, not because you must, but because you are willing. As your how about Shemashah wants you to be. Not greedy for money. Okay, we always speak about that. How these other camps are, you know, be doing this, you know, uh, talking about how much they love the Lord, but they're doing it for filthy lucre or for vain glory. It says, Not greedy, you know, that's dust of 501c3. Thus being disobedient children, thus doing things their own way because they're not a part of the body ultimately. It says, not, not greedy for money, but eager to serve, not lording over, not, not lording it over those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. And when Yahushai, and when the chief shepherd Yahushai appears, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away, brothers and sisters. Exactly. We're looking for new heavens and new earth where dwelleth righteousness. So therefore, we want to do our part, man. We want them crowns, baby. You know what I'm saying? We want to be lords over it. Shoot. Okay? It says, uh, young men, in the same way, be submissive to those who are older. Get your ass in order. You know what I'm saying? That's why we give double honor to the elder apostle Great Millstone. That's why we, you know, the scripture tells us what to do. You know, um, what does it say? The greater thou art, humble thyself. You know, um, uh, seek not out the things that are too hard for, for thee, neither the things that are above your strength. You know, understand that the Lord's give given each man different gifts but it's all the self same spirit for the perfecting of the saints at the end of the day you know but we all working for that one penny right hey we're all this is all um that third temple being built bro this is all for the whole for the whole house of israel shall be saved they're gonna the two-thirds gonna come back through the nutsack of the 144 hopeful elect bro Understanding all these things. Hey, also being thankful, like uh, the description in the book of First Peter, chapter two, verse nine. You know, we should show praises to Him who have called us out of darkness into His marvelous light. Man, being 
so grateful. Like, uh, for instance, that guy that just walked up there just now, that's one of the, the few guys that I, when I first came into the truth, that I went around and I asked all the, uh, the older people, does anybody know that we were the Israelites? Somebody led me to him. And when I found out he was an Israelite, I start, you know, that he knew, I actually started laughing out loud. You know what I'm saying? I really did, bro. I don't... Because, you know, then, you know, because. Who can hold this in? And that just goes forth to show you how Yahweh Shemashah definitely called us to preach this word, bro. It's like a fire shot up in our bones, my man. Who can not but prophesy, right? The Lord will do nothing but He reveal His secrets to His servants and prophets. You know? Like, it says... Where we at? It says, young men, in the same way, be submissive to those who are older. All of you clothe yourself with humility toward one another. Because every man in his own order, bro. Because Yahweh Shemasha opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the Yahweh Shemasha's mighty hand, and he will lift you up in due time. That's right. Cast all your anxiety. On him because he cares for you exactly. You you pray, pray to Yahweh Shem Hashem. You know a man to ought to always pray and not to faint. Pray to the Lord. Lord, I'm feeling you know I'm feeling a little, a little down today. You know can you please put the spirit knowing that you the Father of spirits so you can do anything. Please put the spirit on me to do Thy will, to do Thy feet. You know to do what's commanded of me. You know that's what we're talking about, bro. And Cause you know what? Cause we're rehearsing the righteous acts. You know what I'm saying? The Lord wants you to come to Him. Yeah, how about Shemashah? I want you to come to Him and build up that faith for this time of Jacob's trouble. You got me doing the same thing. This time of Jacob's trouble. The Lord, yeah, how about Shemashah? They out there. They they out there. They 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 they, they in the door. No, they beating on the door. Yeah, how about Shemashah? Oh, 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 please lift up a standard, my man. What? <laughs> hey, that's right. As lively stones, baby. As lively stones, okay? Come on, let's go back. As we see, all these con the, con the congregation of the dead, you know. Uh, 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 <laughs> all praise to you, about Shimon Child. That's right, man. We made a spectacle. Come on. It says, humble yourselves, therefore, under the on your Habba Shimon Child, mighty hand that he may lift you up in due time, casting all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. It says, be self-controlled and alert, okay? Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Thus going back to the title, you know, that we're gonna add to the live camp. He that overcometh and keeping my works until the end, right? These works of Yahweh Shemasha. No matter what you're going through, you know, bro, please, Lord, please, Take not that Holy Spirit. What? What? That's right. Take not that Holy Spirit away from me. Because why? Without the Spirit, like like the Lord say, hey, night. In uh, John chapter 15, verse three, without me, you can do nothing. Okay? It says, be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith, because you know that your brothers throughout the world are going are undergoing the same kind of suffering we be suffering hey we be suffering brothers and sisters. the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak we be suffering okay it says uh and Yahweh Shemasha the God of all grace who called you to his his eternal glory in Yahweh Shai after you have suffered a while you know what I'm saying? We've been going through it, bro. But what does it say? Let, let, uh, we gotta go get that scripture. Let, let patience have her perfect work. You know, uh, if you endure chastising, you're, you, you know, your sons and not bastards. Roughly paraphrasing. You know, um, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. We, you know, it's already written that we gotta be going through these things. That's that gold tried in the fire to build up your. Uh, Put on the whole armor of yeah, yeah. You know, we have this treasure in earthen vessels. And we know, once again, we can do all things through Yahweh by Shema Shai who strengthens us with the self-same spirit, his spirit that, 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 that doing this. Okay? Not of us. It says, 
And how about Shema Shah of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Yahweh Shai after you have suffered a little while will himself restore you to make you strong firm and steadfast to whom him be power forever and ever amen bro and up at the top it says can y'all read it to the elders and young men okay to the to the to the you know to the elect To the elders and young men, bro. Come on, I want to go. We're going to jump into that, Joe. Okay? That was beautiful, right? I enjoyed it, man. The water, bro. The water, y'all, by my You know, because I was wondering if I should even say anything about, you know, not feeling all that great and uh, having to pray for the Spirit and not, not, not to sound weak or anything like that, but exactly, but. It's without Yahweh Hashem Hashem, we can't do nothing. Like we just said in John chapter 15, verse 3. Let's go get that scripture. Mm. That's a pretty car, bro. Woo -woo. That, that's like a, a Lincoln Continental or something, man. Oh, man, that car is gorgeous. Oh, man, it's small, too. That's kind of that's one of the old cars with that uh, seat, with that seat like a couch. Yeah, one of them older cars. Probably not that old, probably 1998, 95 maybe, I don't, I'm not sure. Let me see something. We, I want to get that John, and we're going to stay in the NIV for a little bit if you don't mind. Okay? That John chapter 15 verse 3 real quick. And you know when you uh when you do the work of Yahweh Shem Shai, you know faith without works is dead. When you when you try, just put forth the effort. And and also, I want to make mention not being over righteous, um, not being justified by the law, nothing like that. Like we got into it the other day. And every time I bring up that fact of uh, you know maybe press too too much on on the law a little bit. It seemed like some some shit happened in this flesh, bro. Like that devil come around. Oh, you said you said something about keeping the law. Oh, what about this temptation over here, nigga? What? You know? Don't you realize you need to have a shot to be covered by the blood of lamb? Blah! Yes. Please, y'all, about my shot. Please have mercy on me. Come on, y'all. Let's go to the book of John, chapter 15, verse 1, in the NIV, okay? It says, I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, okay? That's right. You got to do the work, bro. You know, the true worshipers are worshiping Yahweh Hashem in spirit and in truth, okay? That body. And you know what? That's Hey, that's the spirit, too. Uh... Because, you know, Elder Paul's the heart and was speaking about IUIC again, of course. And you can also look at all these other camps, too. Where are their fruits at? The trips say you can tell them by their fruit. Uh, like they got, you know, like uh, GMS, all of the members, through the Spirit and the Power of Yahweh Shemashah, the majority, you know, are, are under the tutelage of the Elder Paul's uh, Tahar. You know, through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh Shema Shai. We haven't having that Holy Spirit being reborn and understand what, what, what you know, if you love me, feed my sheep. You know, or to, or to go out there and preach this word. Each one, teach one. Teach them to the wives of the people whose heart they'll know that may understand. Teach them to the, to the, to the men that's going to be able to teach others also. Hey, that's what it is, bro. So, you can tell them by their fruit, man. Uh... And I just, every time I get a chance, I am going to say that these guys are false prophets and they're going off, you know? Like when, like when I when I first came into the truth, you know, under the tutelage of the Elder Apostle Great Millstone, be Brother Elder, Manat Zaba will always say, watch Great Millstone only. These other camps going to have you bugged out and going off 
and when they bug you out, don't come crying to us. They're gonna get y'all tangled up and you know, you don't even know, twisted around. You don't know what the hell going on. You don't know what the M-A-R-K is. The, the Sabbath days all over, all over. And you're so confused. Because, you know, you've been warned. It's not no game. You know? There's only one way. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, bro. Just enter you in at the straight gate. This is the book of uh, John chapter 15, verse 1. It says, I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, okay? You be going through it, you know, because you ignite. Because what, what we talked about earlier, that's the scripture I want to get. Uh, experience, work is patience, and patience, uh, let patience have a perfect work in the book of James. Let me see. I'm gonna look it up because I don't. I think it's in one, but I want to find it. Because don't forget, we're in the NIV, so uh, it could be worded a little different. Hold on one second. Okay. Yeah, James 1 and 4 is right here. Yeah, it says, see here, it says, pres Ow, fuck! Pre preserver perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete. Right, well furnished, well rounded and grounded in the faith. You know, well furnished, oh, wanting nothing. We're going to go back and finish uh, John chapter 15, though. John 15. Verse 3. Let's start back at 2. It says, He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. It says, While every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes. Okay? So that it will be more fruitful. Okay? He prunes it so it will be more fruitful. It says, You already are clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me. And I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, ye can do nothing, bro. See, and that's that, that's that humbleness of mind. That's that obedience. You know, that's that gift of faith that the Lord has given us in these last days. The gift of faith. The gift of faith? The gift of faith. Because I was thinking about that too. On the way down here. You know, uh, that, that, that faith that will have you jump up. No, you know, he that overcometh and keep my word to the end, the same, you know, I'll give a crown of life, you know, roughly paraphrasing. That's that faith right there that tells you, no, no, no. Fuck this shit. Fuck everything else, man. You know, uh, to have you say, forsake all. Nothing really else matters, but you, you, you gotta do, you gotta do what, what the Lord requires of you, man. The fear, the hope of salvation. Night. You know, the fear, the hope of salvation, bro. The love of Yahweh Shemasha. To, to, to be, hey, the kingdom of heaven is within you. We're building this kingdom, bro. The third temple right here, my man. We want, hey man, can you imagine? Crowns? Eyes have not seen nor ear heard. Do you understand? Many are called, but few are chosen. A privilege. An honor. Oh, I'm walking around saying, he that wanders out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Did y'all see him a while ago? You know, I remember I was saying something. And then Jake walked up right here. And you know how them Jakes be. No smiles or nothing. Like they're fucking dead. Motherfucking dead eyes and motherfucking act like they don't give a fuck about nothing. Motherfucking act like they, you know, the evil eye. Ugh. Man, they've got them. Get on my goddamn nerd. The other day, I was I was doing my errors and stuff. And I, I was just like, I just had, I think I had my head down for half, most of the day. You know, I had to go to this place and this place and... I didn't even want to see Jake. The sagging ass pants. 
the motherfucking, you know, uh, ignorance of the shit that's going on in the world and stuff. Oh, by the way, ain't no motherfucker talking about the World War Three, bro. Not I haven't, I haven't heard anybody anybody strike up in no conversations about it. Everybody trying to pretend to be happy around this motherfucker, cause you know this the tourist town and shit. Ain't nobody has had nothing about the the World War Three. Nobody don't talk about shit. You know that's going on in the world, man. These motherfuckers. But all praise to you. How about you? My shot for this hundred percent truth, man. Lord have mercy. The newspaper, damn puff pieces on the on the cover. All kind of crazy shit, man. Because why? Gross darkness to people. Come on, let's go back, man. Where we at? I want to go get that, that James now. This is the book of James, chapter 1, verse 2. It says, trials and temptations. You know what? I'm going to get it in the, in the KJV, bro. I am. I'm going to get it in the KJV. This book of James chapter 1 verse 2 It says my brethren Count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations So My son if you come to serve you How about you shy? Prepare thy soul for temptation Yeah okay Okay What did the stripper say? The stripper came in my mind just now uh, It says no chastisement seems joyous at the moment we might have to, I'm going to have to put that on the list right now. I'm going to go search it out right now. We're going to, Lord willing, we'll get it, get it, and get it later. That's in Hebrews chapter 12, 12, by the way. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 11. It says, uh, Going back to this James, it says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Because, well, like we say, this is the gold tried in the fire. You know, um, also, you know, we want to be judged, you know, now, going through it now, so we not be judged with the world. All these things, you know, having this understanding of the works of Yahweh Shemashah and his will be done, you know, and he's got everything set, what's supposed to be happening. This, this, good night, good night. This, good night. this world is a stage. You know, he's got everything set in place how it's supposed to be happening. So, you okay? Yeah, I got I good. I just gave My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. So, you know, the devil is set to try you. You know, once again, going back to the title that's going to be added on to this live camp. You know, he that overcometh and keeping my works to the end, the same, you know, going to get them crowns. Let me see. What, let me see. What, so I don't... So I'm not misquoting it all night. To, you know, don't want to, don't want to have no guy, you know, handling the, the strips of deceitfully. Not, you know, because there's no reason for that. We got it right here, you know. Uh, Cause we want to sing the song properly. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, bro? Uh, is Revelation chapter two verse. Revelation chapter 2 verse 26 And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end To him will I give power over the nations Right That's what we're talking about These are the promises He that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end To him will I give power over the nations bro See And this is the, this is the Yahweh Shemashah The God that we serve The God that we know Not no damn plantation Christianity All this uh, fairy tale bullshit And God loves everybody You just do as thou wilt spirit No 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 bro Uh uh you know, this is the true understanding that the Lord has blessed with us with this gift of faith. It says, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, baby. You know what I'm saying? It says, but hey, let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing, right? Because once again, we're building up for this time of Jacob's trouble. So, they're just reading glasses. No, I, 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 I can wear. I got glasses that I can wear if I want to see over there clearly. But it's good enough, man. I don't, you know, it's not that bad. Right. I don't want to. I don't. I don't like it. I don't want to wear glasses all the time. And it's not like I'm. I can see. I can see. You know, I can read the sign over there. I can even read that sign right there, pretty much, kind of. And that's that's pretty pretty good. It's kind of, but you know, it's good enough. I know what the fuck the hell. I know what the hell it is. 
<laughs> All of them are just instructions anyway, so it doesn't like. Well, you know, they just signs. Yeah. Like there was this, this there was this movie. There's this movie called They Live, and in the movie. When you put these certain glasses on, you seen see it? Yeah, yeah, you can I see, see so you can see, see the billboards, and the billboards say like, "Buy this." Yeah. Anyway, you know. So yeah, it's van it's all vanity because this is where it said, "Right, cheer." Okay. That's crazy how it all comes back to the. Yeah. It comes back to this. Look, it says, "But let patience have a perfect work," because once again, we're building up for this time of Jacob's trouble, uh, to not flee. In time of trouble unless you're led by the spirit you know uh because we want we were looking for the miracles we're looking for you like i was speaking about earlier you know we're looking for the lord to lift up that standard we're going to pray to the lord saying that's the patience that we have like earlier like i was like you know hey I, I wasn't feeling all that great but you know what i did i prayed to you for the spirit to come out here and look at this i feel i feel it i really do bro i wasn't feeling good at all i didn't want that i didn't want that so, the time of Jacob's trouble, when shit hit fan, motherfucker beating on your door, blah, 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 blah. Not, oh, don't get carnal. Stay in the spirit. Yeah, how about you, my shot? You told us to watch and pray, watch and pray. You told us to pray, man, to all, all should always pray and not faint. They beating down the door. What should I do? I'm just gonna wait and see what's happening. You know, I don't know. We, but we're gonna be led by the spirit. He said, what, what does scripture say? Let's go get the scripture. See? Let's fall back on the vine, the true vine. Hold on. Let's fall back on the how about Shimashah. Let's fall back on the word made flesh. What the Lord said to do. It says. One more time, one more scripture. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, second Ezra chapter 16, verse 74. It says, Here, O ye my beloved, said the Lord, Yahweh Shimashah. Behold, look, the days of trouble. Are at hand. The days of trouble, the time of Jacob's trouble, are at hand. You know, rumors of wars, wars and rumors of wars. You know, all these things. See that you not be troubled, for the end is not yet. But look, the days of trouble are at hand. But I will deliver you from the same. He said, Yahweh Shemesh, I said, I'm gonna deliver you from the same. And so hey, it says, be ye not afraid. Don't be afraid because we understand now that there's not a sparrow that falls out of the sky without the Lord's consent. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. Don't doubt Yahweh Shemesh and the power of His might. For you, how about Shemashah is your God? He's, he's our God. He's going to let us know through the Spirit what to do. And the God of them, or He's going to send an angel or something. And the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift themselves up. You know, that's what we were speaking about yesterday, bro. Yeah, this is it. So we're going to go back. Because we all, everything. It's crazy because, like, last, like, a few years ago. Everything that is said was going to happen in the Bible is happening, mm -hmm. you know? And it's going to get worse. Yes. We're talking about famine of food. You can see, we could actually see it getting worse. Yeah. We're talking, we're talking about going in the, not being able to go in the store unless you get the M-A-R-K, the C-H-I-P. And everybody's saying that, like, food is running out, water is running out, waste is getting higher, pollution, everything. Yeah. And now it's in the book and stuff. That's that scripture uh, speaks about right here. See, all these are birth pains, and there's and a scripture. it's becoming more of like a um, global warming. It's becoming more of a problem now. So it's gonna like, it's gonna keep progressing, and progressing, and progressing until it's done. Until we can't even do anything about it. I did not say. Well, uh, because it's all prophecy. It's supposed to. It's gonna be. It's judgment of the people yeah. to, to usher in the kingdom of heaven. Usher in uh, the the the, uh, uh, uh. the Lord is talking about. There's gonna be a lot of people. Uh, people are going to be taken in a, in a great number, a lot of great death. It's going to start happening upon the earth. It's starting to happen slowly, but it's going to get worse. There's a book of uh, Second Edges, chapter 16, verse 19. It says, let's start at 18. It says, but the beginning of sorrows. Sorrows. That doesn't sound too damn happy, does it? It sounds sad. It sounds like a lot of people mourning and crying and bitching and moaning and, oh, Lord, this, oh, this, this. The beginning of sorrows, and that people are doing that now. People, um, you see those TikTok videos about people complaining about their job. They don't, yeah, they're just yeah. barely making it. You know, oh Lord, I was good. Like, like, I went to like, college, like, I did everything like, properly. Like seven days a week just for like four dollars an hour and just yep. stuff and just stuff. And they went to college, they did everything they told them to do. But now they, their college, they, they didn't get the job that they thought they was going to get. Yeah. Being that doctor or whoever, you know. 
It says, and that's the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine. See, it's going to get worse. It's talking about famine of food, okay? The beginning of famine, the beginning of famine. So there's a lot of people that's, that have food insecurities right now. There's a lot of people that, that are hand to mouth for food. There's a lot of people that really don't have that much food in their house. They, I mean, they sparse, bro. You know? The beginning of famine and great, great death. That's what we're talking about, great death. That's why we get all excited when we hear, you know, so many people die at one time. You're like, yeah, I'll praise to you, God, my child, because they're fulfilling these prophecies. Uh, and the beginning of wars, here we go, and powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils, evils equal bad times, bad days. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, here we go, Here's, we're getting to the point. In verse 19, behold, famine and plagues, tribulations and anguish are sent for scourges for amendment. These things this, that, what, that's happening now, the beginning of sorrow, they're sent to, to jar the children of Israel to say, hey, you might want to listen, take the heed to the word. You might want to repent to the Lord because we're telling you, if you don't repent, your ass is grass. You know what I'm saying? That's Plain. Yeah, and, and the Lord's going to be the lawnmower. All these, these plagues. Look, behold, famine, plagues, diseases and stuff. Tribulations, trouble, oh, or sin and anguish, just uh, hell on earth. You know, your whole mind, you don't know what to do. Oh, I'm trying my best, but nothing seems to work properly. Are oh. sent for scourges for amendment. They're sent to, to warn you, to get you, to, to get you to come to the Lord, to say, oh Lord, please help me. Let, let me change my ways. Let me get right with him. Let me seek his face. But well, like the scripture speaks about, uh, make no terror to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly in their security, the wrath of the Lord shall come upon thee. And you know, you're going to be destroyed. It says, but, but it's, look, but wait a minute. Hold on. The disclaimer. Because this is meant, two thirds are meant to get cut off. They're not going to repent. They're not going to believe it. They're going to continue on in their ways until they're destroyed. It says, but for all these things, they shall not turn away from their wickedness. They're not going to turn away from their wickedness, nor be away, always mindful of the scourges. They're not going to do it. Because why? Yeah, how about Shema it's, 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 it's his story. And he, there's only a remnant that's going to return. Only a small number is going to believe this word of truth, repent and be healed. And we're praying and hoping that it's us. That's why we do the work. That's why we, the scripture speaks about how we're saved by hope. You know, but hope that is seen is not hope. You know, because what a man see, why does he yet pray for? So we, we, uh, we, we believe what's written, but we don't actually see it like, like that yet. Like we believe we breathe air, but do we even like that's a good example. He said, we believe that we we, we, we we know we breathe the air, but we don't see it, but we know we breathe it. Just like the Lord talking about the Spirit, how the Spirit comes and goes, no man knows. Like the wind, you don't see it, but you know you have to have the, the gift of faith to believe the Holy Spirit exists. And it, it, it does these things, like I'm talking about. I pray to the Lord, the Father Spirit, Lord, please, don't feel all that great. Don't really want to go. And this is, the, this is what the Lord has done. He put the Spirit on me to come out here and preach His Word tonight, bro. And that's, that's, that's faith, you know, to something that you have not, you don't see. And it's a beautiful thing, bro. I love it. And I'm glad, man. I'm, I'm so thankful because if without this word, where would we be at? We'd be fucked up, just like everybody else in the congregation of dead. Uh, uh, same old shit, different day. Oh, down here, they got a t-shirt that says, same old shit, different island. You know, and all you see is a man, a Rasa man. Holding a joint, talking to some cracker. Same shit, different island. Yeah. Um, that's crazy, right? If it's was, if everything wasn't real, right? Why would it have all these Israelites everywhere, every part of the world? It's called world. the Great Awakening. Yeah. It's prophecy being fulfilled. The scripture speaks about. Uh, I'm gonna quote it. This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. Then that's shall the end come. What I just said. Yeah. Did literally. you you read, remember that time I had to read it when you was up here? Yeah, I think. I'm going to have him read it again. Let's let, let watch it. Read it, read it one more time. Something crazy, right? Um, I heard that like, everybody believe in to Every like, nation, every people believe for a higher power, right? Yeah, but they, the scripture speaks about this. Let me, let me see, see. Hey, hold that thought real quick. Read this. What he just said. Did y'all hear what he said? He said, every nation believes in a higher power. But We're going to read. Uh, Maybe they're not different, mm -hmm. but like they believe. Here it is. Right here. Look, read that. 
for all the gods of the nation. Wait, cut, count, uh, call the scripture out. Paul Psalm. Psalm. Paul Psalm nine um ninety six. Verse five. Verse five. Psalms ninety six verse five. Read it. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but for all the gods of the wait, wait the Lord made the heavens. Okay, read it again. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but for but the Lord made the heavens. Right, the one true living God. Yeah. You know what an idol is, right? Yeah, idol. Is like someone you look up to? Is it? Yeah. Kind of. But it's well, yeah, but an idol. Let's look up in let's look it up in the dictionary real quick, just to make sure that we get the proper definition of it. The Lord talk about these idols too. So all the, the there's one true living God. An well, idol, an idol is something that uh, you look up to, like, but the the gods of the the idols that the the nations have as gods, they're nothing but statues and shit. You know, but the God Yahweh Shemashah, our God, He made the heavens, bro. Okay, what are we what are we gonna what are we gonna look at? Oh, uh, definition. Uh, it's okay. It's got the thing on it. I was gonna say right. I feel like every nation and every people, right? They look up to this one. Our idol, right? I think they mistakes the idol for somebody else when the idol is. When the no, no, the Lord, no, that's the, that's the way the Lord made it. He he created everything, and that's in this that's in the apocrypha. Y'all want me to have him read it? Okay, we're gonna have him read thing. it. Look, no, 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 the uh, look. I wish I had like, like a little it's, screen it's, where you could see the. This um, is what the idol is. An, Im lives. an image, form, or representation, usually a man or other animal, consecrated as an object of worship, a pagan deity. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Okay, never mind. That's not even there. I hope. That's them? Yeah, that's them. Yeah. Go get it. Go get that's it. Okay. Alright, I'll see you later. I'll, I'm going to text you this. Okay? Yes. I'm going to text you this. Um, I'm gonna text you this thing in the apocrypha about about these other people that the Lord created, but we're His chosen people. Go, go, go! Watch right out for that car. Go! Okay, y'all. Shoot, I was gonna have him read that uh in this gospel of the kingdom. You know, Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Plain. This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, then shall the end come, bro. So let's get back on to it. Uh, oh, and I was going to have him. We was going to read this. Um, it's uh, Second Ezra. Chapter is it is it six? I think it's six fifty uh, fifty three. Second Ezra chapter six verse fifty three. It says, "Upon the sixth day, thou givest command unto the earth that before thee it should bring forth beasts, cattle, and creepy things. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen." So everybody came from from Adam. Yahweh you know. And all the people also whom the Lord has chosen, because it's a, you know, just like Yahweh Shemashai created the uh, the fishes, how he created the the beasts of the field and the, of the forest. He didn't create just one beast of the field or one fish. He created the fishes. He created the beasts of the field. Okay, and after the after these, Adam also. Whom thou madest Lord of all the, thy creatures, of him come we all. And the people also, plural, the people also whom thou hast chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, because thou made the world for our sakes. The children of Israel, the ones who we have chosen. Okay? As for the other people, all these other nations, you know what I'm saying? I'm praying to Yahweh Shemashah for the truth, which also come of Adam. Thou hast said that they are nothing and be likened to spittle, Tch. you know, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel, a little drop of water compared to the whole uh, bucket of water. 
They're like, you know, you're not gonna worry about that little drop of water that falls out of that bucket. And now, oh Lord, behold, these heathens, these other nations, which have ever been recruited as nothing. They are they're nothing but like a spit. Have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. And that's why the scripture says, All that devour thee shall be devoured. You know, the, the shoe going to be on the other foot. You know, the kid in heaven. Bro, eyes have not seen nor ear heard all the wonderful things that the Lord has planned for them that love him. So, you know, that's another reason why we, we you know, do the work. And of course, it's all of the will and power of Yahweh Shemashah. And Lord willing, we're going to endure to the end, brothers and sisters. You know? That's the hope of salvation. Lord willing, the Yahweh Shemashah will not take his Holy Spirit away from us or bug us out or having us go back in the world and nothing like that. Lord willing, we're part of that number, the elect. You know? It says, And now, O Lord, behold, these heathens, which have ever been recruited as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. But we, thy people, you know, the children of Israel, those, the, the Lord's chosen people, you know, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. You know, the transatlantic slave trade until this present day. We're yet this day in our captivity. We're given into their hands. If, if, if the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? Right. This is about to, it's about to be over now. The kingdom of heaven is about to be established. We're going to be joint heirs in the kingdom of heaven. Once again, where's that, where's that scripture at? That, um, Revelation chapter 2 that we were reading? Revelation chapter 2, verse 26. And he that overcometh, okay, all these ups and downs, these uh, spiritual battles, you know, how they trying to wear out the saints. You know, the trials and tribulations, the gold tried in the fire. You know, the chastisement of you, how about you, my shot? You know, troubling the flesh. Spirit, you know, the... Man, damn. Demon, you know, demon attacks. Motherfucking... You know, like the strippers say, and they love not their lives until the death. But we, you know, we're still here just... Like the stripper speaks about... Uh, Lord willing, nothing can separate us from... The love of Yahweh Shemasha. We should get that too. It says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end to him will I give power over the nations. Just like that, bro. The shoe's gonna be on the other foot. You know, uh Um What's that what's that movie? Trading places time. Okay. Let's go get that scripture that we had. And then we're gonna try to go back to James. And finish that off. Romans chapter 8. Hey, right to the page. All praise to you. How about you? My shy baby. Okay. Where my glasses at? Romans chapter 8. Verse 38. It says, For I am persuaded that neither death. Now, wait a minute. Now, when we read this, we should actually jump back to the top which is Romans chapter 8 verse 29 and right here it says nothing can separate us can y'all read it nothing can separate us from Yahweh Shemashah's love it says for whom he did for no he also did predestinate this is a thing of predestination that's why we're coming back and discerning between them that serve Yahweh Shemashah between the righteous and the wicked between those that serve the Lord and those that serve him not bro you know it says, uh, for whom he did for no, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among, among many brethren. It says, moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. You know, having, having those sins blotted out. You know what I'm saying? Having their sins blotted out, bro. The sure mercies of David. Being justified in the sights of, of the Lord. Woo! 
It says, what shall we say to these things? If Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shall be for us, who can be against us? Okay? He that spared not his own son, <clears throat> but delivered him up for us all. Yahweh Shai. You know, the, the lamb. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? That's why, you know, Elder Yahshua, I'm going to be making them epistles about how Yahweh Shai has done so much for us bro being that sacrifice uh covering us with the blood the 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 loosen the seals the seven the, the seven seals you know uh how you how I sent him the time when we came out of Egypt you know I'll send send my angel you know the chariot uh how he gave us the have fed us the manna all these things you how I you know, have have done for the children of Israel, and you got Sakari talking about some. You don't have to worship Yahweh Shai, bro. Bugged out, disobedient children. And once again, thankful for this hundred percent truth, bro. Thankful for the for the mercies of Yahweh Shema Shai. Okay, that's why we do it. It says. uh who shall lay anything to the charge of Yahweh Shemashah's elect? It is Yahweh Shemashah that justifieth. And see right now, this is the book of uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 33. The scripture speaks about the elect. And we're reading these scriptures as the hopeful elect, hoping that that's talking about us. Hoping to be justified. Hoping to endure to the end. Hoping to overcome these things. Saved by hope, bro. Trusting in the word made flesh. Trusting in the promises. Trusting in Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, bro. It says, Who shall lay anything to the charge of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai's elect? It is Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that justifies. And there's a scripture speaks about those that put their trust in the, in the Lord. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Let's just let's read a few of these. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5. Every word of Yahweh Shemashah is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. You know? Because the word is pure. The Lord has given us this gift of faith. The scripture speaks about it in the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 2. Uh, this word, this gospel was preached to us as well as to them, but it did not profit them, not being mixed with, with faith in them that heard it. And this is a gift of faith. Uh they got Psalms chapter 125 verse 139. They that trust in the Lord, Yahweh Shemasha, shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abide forever. Woo! That's, that's good. And I think the one I really wanted was Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 verse 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. Okay? It goes on to say, For grace and mercy is to his saints. And he has care for his elect, bro. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Cause that's what exactly what I was just talking about, right? That's exactly what we were just talking about right there, bro. You know, we are uh, reading the scripture. It says the elect, and we are trusting in the words, hope. You know, hoping and praying to be saved by hope, hoping and praying to be a part of that number. When it's speaking about the elect, understanding the elect, understanding that all Israel is not Israel, bro, humbly speaking, Lord, let it be us. Who else can it be? Okay? Come on. Let's go back. I want to read, and I said I want to read that one more time. Hebrews chapter, Salaki, uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 verse 9. It says, They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him forever so like he shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to his saints and he hath care for his elect bro you know what comes to my mind right now i don't know why there's a song uh called she blinded me with science but 
you know, during the chorus, it says, "It's poetry in motion." <laughs> it's poetry in motion because it's the living word, the, the rivers of living water. It's poetry in motion. It sounds so good, so pleasant to the ear. This uh, this new song. Come on, let's go back to Romans chapter eight. It says, verse thirty-three, that. He said, who shall lay anything to the charge of Yahweh Shema Shah's elect? It is Yahweh Shema Shah that justifies. Who is he that condemneth? It is Yahweh Shah that died, yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is, even at the right hand of Yahweh Shema Shah, who maketh intercession for us. That's right, the mediator. You know? Sins be blotted out. Covered by the blood of the Lamb, bro. It says, Who shall separate us? So, you know, understand these things, man. Who shall separate us? That's why we, a man should all, always uh, pray and not to faint. Because who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulations, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? Let's read that one more time. Because that's what we're talking about right here. He that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. You know? The government shall be upon his shoulder, bro. Being those first fruits. You know? Wow. Wow. You know, the, 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 the things that, that make a man happy, to see the joy, you know, the fall of his enemies, and have the joy of his children. You know? The, to see the, hey, the fall of our enemies. Bam! Then... Two thirds coming back through the nutsack of the elect in the kingdom of heaven, and you gotta be able to enjoy them and raise them. You know? Wow. Double. You know what I'm talking about, bro? Hey. So who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh? Shall eyes have not seen, bro, nor ear heard all the wonderful things that the Lord got planned for them that love it. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh? Shall? Shall? shall tribulations. We've gone through some trouble. Okay, we got it. We we hey we we go through some trouble. We man we are we are trouble on every side, you know. Trouble in the flesh. I damn. And we you know I I got I to beat that dead horse all night long when it comes to some trouble. Beat the shit out of that that damn horse. Shall tribulations or distress, you know that's why the scripture speaks about be anxious for nothing. Just try to walk in the spirit, okay? You know, just man, I've learned to be, you know, still learning, you know, of course. But try to be as calm most of the time as possible. Don't let things things used to bother me, man. I used to be rushing all the time, trying to, you know, uh, thinking everything was such a fucking big deal. Uh, trying to appease motherfucker, trimming the ways to seek love in the world and stuff. Thank you, you how about you, shy? Understanding that there's nothing that happens, you know, without the Lord's consent, man. It, and, and the Lord, what the Lord say, hey, be anxious for nothing. Just change a lot, you know, for the brother. Applying these laws, these beautiful precepts to our life, man. It, it's true, man. How about Shema Shah? It's true. He said, I came, I did not, the thief comes but to rob, steal, and kill. I've come so they can have life and have it more abundantly, bro. I, uh, I sent, I sent myself some little TikTok videos and Lord willing I'll be able to make a little epistle about them but that was this guy talking about this world you know and I thought about the earth is given to the hand of the wicked I thought about when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice but when the wicked bear rule the people mourn there was a few videos speaking about how uh, how in Japan they were supposed to be excellent carpenters over there you know but because of this world and the things that happen you know uh on the Esau's rulership, Babylon has been the golden cup in the Lord's hand. They stop teaching their sons their particular trade because now everything is going industrial. You know, uh, you go to college, you get a trade now. You know, you go try to get to become this or you can try to become that on the Esau system. You're in the system now. Instead, before, you know, I think I might be merging two, two videos together, but before, Oh, then, then uh, there's another guy, I think, started talking about how men are out of the house. 
going to work all day long, and but he, when he comes home, he's a joke. Now he's got to appease the kids. He's got to play with the kids. He's got to laugh. He's got to worry about the wife and, you know, give her her props for doing her job or some shit like that. You know, but before, every man was his own castle. Like, you know, you have your own farm. You have your own chicken. You have your own trade. And that's what you taught your son. And your son had it. You did, they, they went all over the place uh, doing all this or trying to uh, chase that damn carrot, chase this American nightmare. You know what I'm saying? And then at the end, that was a beautiful little video that Brand came out with. Cause then at the end, you know, they keep giving you stuff to 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 reach for. At first, you gotta go through all this schooling. But instead of you know, I, you know, even he even started as as a child. So lucky I'm talking a lot, man. He even started as a child. How uh, kids want to learn from you. They want to do what you do. They want to. They want you to teach them. You know, they want to help you cook. They want to help you clean. And if you nurture that, like on the farm, you would give them chores. Do this, do this. And they start to learn and grow. And they start, they're living. They're living. Doing this. Life. They become to be young adults. You're teaching them how, like in the days of old, teaching young women how to be, uh, you know, at an early age, getting them prepped to be wives. Getting them prepped to know how to cook, to know how to clean, to know how to take care of a husband. But now, the, the man said, Instead of doing that to the kid, now you give them toys. Go over there and play. You know, or watch this, this screen here. Learn from that. Sesame Street and all that shit. Things that, you know, you're supposed to learn in this world about mathematics and, uh, you know, reading and shit like that. And, um, it's, 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 really, it's really something, man, when you sit back and look at it, how the system has fucked up everything, you know? To make, what's it ultimately, to keep you in that bondage and they want to come with the M-A-R-K the C-H-I-P to make you even more of a perpetual slave because he's saying you know then you, you send the kids to, to, to daycare and then to preschool and all that bullshit and they do this they gotta you know yay you, you finish this grade now you can go to this grade and you work on that and, oh, yay you finish that grade now you can go to this grade and it's ever it's always reaching for the next thing the next thing the next thing and then you know Basically, what you're thinking is that when you get to a certain level, now you've arrived. Now you won the prize. This so-called American dream, right? But this, it, we know this shit is all done anyway. But wait, it's just, uh, man. And then, okay, he said, okay, so you, you go all the way to college. So I finally got it. I now, ooh, you're an adult now. Now you can go get a job now. You know. But you got all this debt and all this shit. You got all this, you know. Oh, hey, you got this job now. You start at the bottom or whatever. You now you can. You gotta strive to, to to work hard to 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 become that CEO or that boss man or that that certain level to a, to achieve those riches that they told you can get way the fuck back here in elementary school. You know. The, 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 the car, the house, you know, like that, that picture we had with the Lamborghinis and stuff that Elder Yashua put up and the big ass house and stuff. This is what they tell you you need, but what you need is this down here, you know, a food, clothes, and shelter. Man. Oh, and then he went, I'm going to tell you the whole thing. It's all, we're almost there. So you got to be a CEO and stuff like that. You, so you work, you work hard to get that. But then you get, okay, you get to that, you might get to that place. And you might get the house, but now you got to start getting ready to retire. Because you're now you're sick, you're about to be you're about to kill over, you're about to be 65 or some shit. You got to start saving up and reaching for that. You got to start putting away for that. You got to start planning for that. And then by the time you get around there, you're dead. And the thing that they told you you needed, you were always trying to get it. Instead of living in the moment. With your with your little farm, with your uh, with all that with all that with all those things, hey. Okay, so um, whew. let's go back. Romans, Romans chapter uh, boy, that that girl right there is fine as hell. Lord have mercy. Uh, Romans chapter eight. Verse uh, 
35. So who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shemashah? Right, because this is where it's at. Everything else, vanity out here, bro. We're looking for new heavens and new earth where dwell of righteousness. We want to be lords over it. We want, we want one of them fine things right there. Not one of them, but a thousand of them. I don't know how many the Lord, you know, give us our heart's desire, whatever the Lord has planned. His will be done. And now we come to understand his will be done, bro. Give me, you know, give me food that's convenient for me at this particular time, bro. You know? We we here to do the do the will of the Lord, bro. Humbling ourselves under the mighty hand of Yahweh Shemasha. And he's gonna exalt us in due time. And that's what he's let us know in these last days, bro. It says, uh, who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shemashah? Shall tribulations or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? You know? As it is written, for thy sakes we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that love us. Right. All these things, man. We can do all things through Yahweh Shai who strengthens us, bro. Always always keep keep that in mind, man. A man should always pray and not to faint, bro. Okay? A man should always pray and not to faint. We can do all things. Hey, what does it say? And as, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. Because this is not a rest. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Hey, make thyself a living sacrifice. Okay? It says, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded. This is the point we want to make right here. We got we, we got we came all the back we came all the way back around to get to there. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh Bahashim Yahshah, which is in Yahweh our Lord. That's right. Lord willing, nothing's going to be able to separate us, bro. That's why we pray to Yahweh Shem for the Spirit to endure. You know, for the Spirit to overcome. For His Holy Spirit to hold us up by His right hand. Going back to the book of James, and we're going to close it out with James right here, bro. James chapter 1, verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Because we, you got to go through that. You got to go through it. Because it helps. It, it helps us, you know, getting us getting us pure, getting us, uh, you know, those that have this hope purify themselves. You know, uh, the rite of passage. Uh, taking up that cross and bearing it. Holding on. Hold that fast what thou have that no man take that crown. You know, suffering. Suffering. Like Elder Positive Heart said, you know, learn to suffer. My son, if thou come to serve you, how about Shema Shah? Prepare thy soul for temptation. You know, just man fall it down seven times, but he... Hey, hey, what's that song? T.I. Get back up. Uh, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask you how about Shema Shah to give it to all men liberally, and unbraided not, and it shall be given to him. Right, ask the Lord for the things that you need, you know. Uh, like the stripper speaks about, you know, you ask, you know, what if you ask in my name, if it be his will, he's going to give it to us. You know, the scripture speaks about, you know, you ask and you receive not because you ask and miss because you're going to consume it upon your lust. But the things that we're asking are spiritual things, you know. Asking for the spirit to do the work, you know, that's the will of you. How about you, my shot? Asking for the spirit to overcome into the end. Hey, that's, well, hey, come on, man. What else? Because what? The scripture tells us to seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all these things shall be added unto you. All of them. Everything you need, bro. <laughs> it says, but let patience have a perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, that's some stinking ass weed, man. A lot of fuckers smoking. I thought it was a cigarette. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of Yahweh Shema Shah to give it to all men liberally and unbraid it not and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith. Okay, real true faith, bro. Nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let that man think that he shall receive anything of Yahweh Shema Shah the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Okay? See, because we got to, hey, we all in for Yahweh Shema Shah. 
This hundred percent truth over here. Not doubting, you know. And that's 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 your how about Shema Shah? That's the spirit of the Lord. That's the gift of faith. Yeah, you, know, you know how many Israelites doubt? Are they? And you see them openly coming against the doctrine. Oh, I'm gonna put my hands on you, carnal. You know, Shepherd tells us right there to be carnally minded is enmity with Yahweh Shema Shah. Woo! It's all right here, bro. God damn it, why is it still smelling like weed around here? Why is the motherfucker smelling like that? Let's get the hell up out of here, man. So, Lord willing, brothers and sisters, that was edifying and exhorting. I want to get that, uh, that, uh, one more time, y'all. Revelation chapter 2, verse 26. It says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations, bro. That's it. So, with that, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rikah, Kudash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutation to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the 130th of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever you're going. Shalom, one, brothers and sisters. Shalom. One. I'm serious. Where in the fuck is that weed smell coming from? It stinks. Shalom, one, bro. That's right. Set a mark on the, on the foreheads of the men that sign and cry for all the abomination that will be done in the midst of it. Hey, the water, y'all, by Shema for the spirit to come out here again, man. It's, that was amazing. That's the spirit of y'all, by Shema And we're going to be praying for that spirit, man. We're going to be praying for the Lord, y'all, by Shema to lift up them standards, the, them spiritual powers. We, 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 we're, we're ready to see them miracles, bro. Shalom, brothers and sisters.